to start a script and currently we are in the graph view mode and we're just going to work on making a couple different um, basic inputs and we're going to do numbers as you can see uh, these are actually the commands or the methods um, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a few numbers I will do one and I actually can copy this by pressing ctrl C we're going to the edit menu and pressing uh, copy and then you paste it with ctrl V also in the edit menu and we're just going to set three of these values and I'm just going to really quickly show you how to also uh, create a point and a point is actually on the geometry menu as you go down to point you can click on uh, point by coordinates XYZ uh, you can also find these by right clicking on the canvas and you'll see like a search menu and you can also put in that command you see it's right here but I'm going to go ahead and just place this in and we're just going to simply see this is uh, pretty much how you connect this so this is the output from this command and this is the input for this command and as you create that you see that there's a point now if I go into the 3d view you actually can see that this point um, is like right at the origin and it's uh, pretty much not as selectable but if I actually take and sort of do a duplicate of sort of this method um, and actually use a number slider going back to the input we will see that um, we can have different uh, options and actually uh, we do a number slide for each one of these and as you see the number slider is as opposed to just sort of putting in a value you can put in like 10 any sort of value that's a number uh, the number slider actually has like a pretty much a scale and if you click on this down arrow uh, you'll see the maximum the minimum and what is the step so that's uh, your ability to change there. That's so what we'll plug these outputs to this inputs. Go back into the 3D view. And you actually, from the slider, you have the ability actually to control everything from here. So it's, uh, it's a, just a different way of how things are organized. And we see here this point is set by more of a constant. Go back into the graph view. So that's a way to create two lines. You can see I'm navigating the canvas, um, both using the middle mouse button and also by scrolling. And one thing we could do now, we also can create a line. And so that's in the area of curves. Uh, as this is just a regular line, I could just say uh, line through uh, point, start end point. And we just start this point and this point here. And we've created a line. And we actually uh, can do other types of geometry. As you can see, there's different types of helix, ellipse, curves, circles. And so if you want to do a circle uh, by center point and radius, you can see uh, it already has actually an inbuilt value of zero, zero and a radius of one. But we could also just do a center point here. If we actually copy this and do another center point. So that's a simple way of getting this out here. Now, one of the things about the output of these, um, this is just basically a you know, workflow, creating some of the variables that will control things like points. And then maybe points uh, can be used to create different types of geometry. Um, however, that's just sort of like an inbuilt function. There's also a great function also of things like list. And you also can do, of course, 3D geometry, including uh, being able to edit the Revit model directly. And I'm going to just uh, make this a little more interesting. We're actually going to start a new graph. I'm going to save this one as just our, our testing. And I'm just going to do a home test one. We're going to close this one. This is very simple. And start a new one where we're going to work on understanding a little bit more about Dynamo's uh, interaction with the Revit model.